Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. The world now has entered a white-hot stage. He was originally thinking about the US's restrictive policy on semiconductor products, but he didn't expect that China would also impose strict restrictions on important equipment. Now, the entire world's technology supply chain is trapped on this line, and no one can get away with it. India originally planned to take this opportunity to develop its own manufacturing industry and build a new high-tech manufacturing base. But the problem now is that both hardware construction and the industrial chain are in a very fragile state. The most important thing is that in terms of high-end chips, it is still monopolized by other countries. From this perspective, does India want to seize this opportunity or gain a foothold in the international arena? Everything starts with the United States. In recent years, the United States has stepped up its exports of chips to prevent China from catching up in high-tech industries. Starting in 2022, the United States has issued a series of measures to restrict high-end integrated circuits and related technologies. Even large companies such as TSMC and Samsung have to obey China's orders. By 2022, the United States will increase its control over China and force its allies to impose sanctions on it to prevent it from obtaining high-specification chips. Although this has caused a great impact on China's semiconductor industry, it is not an easy thing to do, because it is not an easy thing. And China has a considerable say in this important raw material. Therefore, starting from 2024, China will gradually increase its imports of core equipment and raw materials. Just when high-tech companies in various countries in the world have not had time to digest this series of policy adjustments, India can no longer sit still. The Indian government wants to take advantage of this opportunity to introduce international chip manufacturers into India and establish its own semiconductor industry chain. However, dreams are beautiful and reality is cruel. India has experienced many ups and downs on the road to industrialization. Although India has introduced a number of measures such as Make in India and huge subsidies to attract foreign investment to build factories, the problem is that its infrastructure is still a huge problem. First of all, in India, there are great shortcomings in electricity, transportation, and supporting facilities. It is easy to build a factory, but it is not an easy thing to maintain high efficiency. Secondly, the semiconductor industry has a great demand for skilled labor. Although there are many engineers in India, it is impossible to catch up with advanced technology in a short time. By January 2025, China officially announced stricter import licenses for certain important equipment and raw materials for semiconductor production. This measure not only makes American technology companies feel depressed, but also puts India's chip industry planning under new challenges. Those suppliers who originally relied on China now have to think carefully about where to get what raw materials. By February 2025, the entire world's semiconductor market will be hit by supply tightening. American companies are looking for other suppliers, European manufacturers are reformulating their manufacturing strategies, and India's semiconductor industry has fallen into a more difficult situation. India does have a lot of foreign capital, such as TSMC and Intel, which are planning to increase investment in India. However, if the supply of raw materials cannot be guaranteed, even if a large amount of money is invested, it will be difficult to achieve results in a short period of time. 
The U.S. export control on chips has not been relaxed due to India's participation, so India still has difficulties in obtaining cutting-edge chip production technology. For India, what is more troublesome is that India has not yet established enough trust in the international market. In recent years, despite the rapid development of India's manufacturing industry, companies still tend to cooperate with regions with relatively complete industrial chains such as China, South Korea, and Taiwan. By March 2025, the chip industry of the entire world is still in a state of rapid change. The United States continues to tighten its control over China, and China accelerates the development of domestic products and guarantees the supply chain. India must make a choice whether to rely on foreign capital to develop the chip industry or to increase local investment and build its own semiconductor ecosystem. Now it seems that India's chip industry will take some time to grow. Even if there is policy support and foreign investment, the stability of infrastructure and supply chain still needs to be solved. At the same time, China's strict control over it has also made international technology companies increasingly aware of the importance of supply chain diversification. The process of industrial restructuring cannot be completed overnight, but in the next few years, the competition for technology and technology around the world will be more intense. In this case, the world's technological war is becoming more and more intense. How can India easily seize this opportunity? So, a new question arises, can India support the entire semiconductor industry with just a few foreign companies? The semiconductor industry is not a problem, that can be solved by burning money. No matter how the United States suppresses, no matter how China responds, the only thing that can ultimately influence the direction of the entire market is its own scientific and technological strength and industrial chain. If India wants to be the next chip production base, it is far from enough to rely solely on foreign investment. Infrastructure, Supply chain and technological accumulation are all indispensable. If this problem cannot be handled well, then investing in the semiconductor industry is just empty talk. The battle over science and technology is still going on. Where will the semiconductor industry go? Please leave a message below.